Record highs, certainly not a good thing. Mm -mm. After reaching records a couple of weeks back, prices dipped a little bit. We were excited about that. But this past week, those prices have skyrocketed once again. And here is the proof. This right here, we're going to show you. Maybe not. Well, it'll <laughs> it'll cost you uh, for a regular gallon of gas in your area. In Pennsylvania, the average price went up two cents overnight, and now it's four dollars and fifty six cents. New Jersey is at four dollars and forty nine cents. In Delaware, it'll cost you four dollars and forty cents today. All right. So Jana Tidwell from AAA, she's feeling the pain as well. Mm -hmm. mid, mid, AAA Mid Atlantic. She's joining us uh, with some insight. So Jana. I know it's not the best visit for you to have you here, but uh, it's important because we need to talk about this. It's something that we're all dealing with. Uh, we thought we caught that break, as Amanda alluded to, but uh, no such luck. So why are these prices at the pump continuing to rise again? The main driver here is the price of crude oil. Up until last night, crude oil was trading above $100 a barrel. When the price of crude oil increases, the price of gasoline increases, reason being 50 to 60 percent of a gallon of gasoline is made up of crude oil. Yikes. All right. Well, that's that's the reason. That's yeah. what 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 many folks have to blame it on. All right. People are really looking forward to summer road trips. Jaina, is there any relief in sight for that? We got to fill up our cars. You know, it's way too soon to tell what we're looking at long term or even short term as we approach the summer driving season with Memorial Day just a few weeks away. Mm -hmm. uh, motorists need to consider many tips out there to help them maximize fuel economy. OK, so, Jana, there's not like, you know, there's a one spot that these drivers can go for these magic prices yeah. everywhere. It's feeling <laughs> the same thing. So with that in mind, what else can we do to kind of make that fuel go a little bit longer when we plan those trips? Sure. Um, there's no silver bullet. There's no one thing to do to stretch that tank, you know, to crazy levels. But there are a few things that motorists can do that over time really add up. And at this point, every penny counts, right? So the f first and foremost, AAA recommends that you perform routine vehicle maintenance, making sure that the oil and the filter are changed regularly, mm -hmm. your tires are properly inflated. Performing that routine maintenance will make sure that your vehicle is performing at optimum fuel efficiency. You also want to make sure that you are obeying the posted speed limit. I know that's hard to do, but driving the speed limit also maximizes fuel efficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, consolidating trips, carpooling, make sure that once you're out, run all those errands you have to do so that you're not going back and forth and, and you know driving for long distance for short errands. Um, also, it's spring cleaning time. You're working on your house, work on your car too. Get the junk out of the trunk. We're all guilty of it, my, yeah. myself included. The heavier your vehicle is, the more gas it takes to move it. So get the kids sporting equipment, the golf clubs, whatever else you've been using your trunk as storage space for. Now's the time to get it out there. Mm -hmm. uh, one other tip in terms of octane levels, know your vehicle's octane level. If your vehicle owner's manual does not say that premium grade fuel is required, don't use it. There's mm -hmm. no need to use it. It means that your vehicle runs at optimum fuel efficiency using regular grade unleaded gasoline. Yeah, and that's a great tip because you look at the regular price for a gallon of gas and then you look all the way up to the premium and it yeah, shocks you. So if really you can is. use that regular, definitely use it. Jaina, do you have any more tips for drivers before we let you leave? You know, there's one other thing to consider, and that is fuel discount programs. Shell offers a fuel discount program uh, through AAA. Uh, wholesale retailers offer gas discount programs, as do grocery stores. So again, there's no silver bullet, but over time, every penny counts. So if you can take advantage of all of these fuel saving tips, um, especially as we hit, head into the summer driving season, every penny counts. Jana, some great advice as always. Yeah. We appreciate you being here. Uh, this is just coming at the worst time uh, as we head into the peak travel season. So where can people go if you have any more information uh, as far as kind of maybe tips and things to look out for before we head into this season? Hey, as we head into summer driving season, busy travel season, AAA would welcome anybody who wants more information to visit us at AAA.com. All right, AAA.com. Jaina, it is always a pleasure. Thank you so much for being here and having such great tips for us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, Nick. Mm -hmm. You got it. Coming up for you this morning, whenever.